What is up, Pepe Army? Welcome back to my crypto journey. Of course, my name is Rodney. Do me a favor and smash the like button if you are freaking out. Smash the like button if you think that this is the end of the world, baby. It's time to dump all your Pepe, time to sell your meme coins and go back to working at McDonald's, baby. Or let me know in the comments down below and smash the like button if you understand this is part of the game and probably the shakeout before we have a big breakout right now. A lot of meme coin, all, pretty much all meme coins are down. The popular ones are down bad right now, including Pepe. Now that's not me fudding Pepe. That's not me speaking bad about Pepe. That is me observing what is, what is happening. It, it's crazy on crypto Twitter and just YouTube in general. If you say something is down, even though it's down, people will say, oh, you're turning your back on this product? Oh, you're fudding this product? It's like, no, no, I'm examining what is happening. For example, the entire cryptocurrency market is down pretty bad today. Everything is down bad. Most things, right? Bitcoin under $27,000. Again, Ethereum actually looking pretty strong, but still down on the day. And of course, tokens like Pepe are down big. I mean, I'm looking at some other small caps that we were in that look like absolute rug pulls. And if you look at Pepe, you know, you zoom out, you see the chart that it's pretty strong. It's still trading sideways, but trending down on the week, right? This is not me fudding Pepe. This is not me saying mean things about Pepe. This is me observing that we are down 14% on the day. Now, like I've said before in many other videos, Pepe is going to follow the market. The market's going to pump. Pepe is going to pump crazy. The market's going to dump. Pepe is going to dump crazy. And we're seeing the market market pullback right now and Pepe is following suit, right? Just happens. So, I mean, I don't make the rules. I'm just here to explain them. But does that mean I'm giving up on Pepe? Nah, because I do think this is the fake out before the breakout. And why do I think that? It seems like as every day passes, we're getting more and more FUD from normies, right? Politicians um, thrown at the cryptocurrency market. And a lot of the attention has been taken off crypto and focused on AI. Now, I was reading some uh, article the other day, and we'll get into this dumb tweet from, um, or this dumb statement from Elizabeth Warren here. Uh, but people were saying, oh, it's not about crypto anymore. It's about AI, artificial intelligence. I'm like, well, they're two different things. So it's not, that, that's ridiculous. You can't shift the attention from, you know, crypto to AI when they're two different things. But Maybe that is the case for now. But you know when you're in peak FUD, when you have politicians saying things like this. So Elizabeth Warren has been pretty open about how she does not like crypto and how she wants to have a war on crypto. She says this, uh, says crypto funds fentanyl trade and it's time to shut it down. Really? Crypt that's all crypto is good for, funding fentanyl. You're telling me Pepe buyers and holders, we're funding the biggest drug epidemic in the United States. Oh, this is all our fault. This is, it's absolute crazy. Politicians. How do you know when politicians are lying? When their mouths are moving, right? Absolutely insane. But that's just what, what it is in cryptocurrency right now. Every it seems like the United States is really trying to destroy cryptocurrency through regulation. And hopefully, in the next election cycle, we get a more enlightened group of people running the country, and maybe they'll be more open to cryptocurrency mass adoption. You know what I mean? I know some people are Republican, some people are Democrat. I hate to make things political, but that's the way it seems right now. It seems like some people on one side don't like crypto and people on the other side like crypto. And let me tell you something. A lot of things that these presidential candidates run on don't matter to me. But one thing that matters to me is crypto. So think very wisely and choose very wisely during the next election cycle if you are pro crypto. Now, is this the shakeout before the breakout? I do think that there's a big bull run happening very, very soon with the whole China thing, with the whole debt ceiling agreement. We have to, yeah, that still has to pass through different parts of the uh, branches of the government. And then, of course, possibly a Fed pivot if we stop raising interest rates. Well, we'll see if that happens. But if those three things happen, we could absolutely be sent to the moon. And that could be on the horizon, right? And, of course, Pepe is going to send like the rest of them. Now, I did buy the dip on Pepe this morning because I like to dollar cost average into my favorite cryptocurrency projects, especially ones I see that have value in them, right? Bitcoin, Ethereum, a lot of my blue chips and some of my favorite meme coins, right? I have a lot of favorite meme coins in the space and Pepe is my favorite meme coin right now. And I do think it's going to run when the market starts running again. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you freaking out about the situation? I'm interested to hear your opinion. Guys, remember, it's not just Pepe that's down. It's every single meme coin that's not brand new is down significantly and the entire cryptocurrency currency market is down significantly. So people say Pepe's dead. It's over. It's a rug pull. They're wrong. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Peace.